Well, hello, my beautiful Virgo. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your career reading for April 2021. I'm just cleansing your space here and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading. It may not resonate for everybody. So please take what is for you and leave the rest behind. This is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, I'm still running a competition for one lucky subscriber to win a personal reading. Uh, I'll let you know how to win that reading right at the end if you don't know already and I'll be choosing that winner on the 12th of April um, when the new moon is in Aries a very very important time for cultivating your vision let's get straight to it my beautiful Virgo what do you need to know regarding your career uh, for uh, April I'm doing this on the 6th of April 2021 right through to the 6th of May 2021 thank you so much spirit guides going angels can you please guide Thank you so much. We have the Hangman, we have the Emperor, and we have the Star card. Beautiful energy, Virgo. Really exciting kind of energy there. We have uh, the Hangman. So if you felt like you were waiting for a long time there, this is the protagonist energy. During that sort of um, hangman kind of energy, there's wisdom, but also sacrifice. You've given a lot of time and energy to whatever it is that you want to achieve, Virgo. And if you felt like there was any restrictions that were holding you back, it's time for um, releasing those chains, getting a new perspective, and uh, sort of manifesting new opportunities here. But uh, when you get this card in this position, it indicates you have to let go of something or surrender something in order to get something uh, better, okay? There's definitely sacrifice here. You're releasing something for a brighter day. Now, the hangman is uh, getting a different perspective in order to move forward. So if you felt like anything was holding you back, it's the end of um, those days where you felt restricted, uh, an end of old ways of doing things and uh, you know anything that's hindering you you're making way for something better so I feel like the protagonist energy you start to recognize that during downtime or where you felt stuck there was always something to learn okay you were not sitting at home twiddling your thumbs I feel like you were um, still keeping your brain active doing a lot of learning but uh, most importantly I feel like you were gaining some sort of um, knowledge that helps you move forward and be ahead of the game. Now, we've also got the Emperor card. This is about planning for the future, it, about structure. Um, I feel very much like there's leadership kind of energy here, um, and I feel like um, there's an energy here of success, okay? Um, I feel very much like either you're trying to work your way up through the ranks, Virgo, and become a leader or step into some sort of position that gives more responsibility and more guidance towards people. I feel like you've definitely got leadership skills here. And I feel very much like um, if you felt before that you were powerless within a situation or you felt like it was chaos, um, that's all about to change for you, okay? Now uh, you're planning for the future. Now, I feel also there's a secondary energy connected to this, Virgo. You may have been dealing with someone who was quite authoritative, but in a very negative way. This person, a little bit of an ego, okay? This person uh, may have uh, been very selfish, um, and they may have been um, kind of ignoring the obvious, as it were. Um, I feel like you knew, how can I put this? It's almost like if there was a conundrum or a problem, you could see the solution quite quickly. And I feel like this person either ignored your um, advice or uh, just thought that they knew better and it's come to bite them back on the you know what, okay? Um, I don't feel like you're gloating at all. I feel like you, you're just sort of standing in your power and saying, well, I kind of knew it. I, I, I kind of tried to warn or tried to advise and they did not take your advice. Now, this could be someone that you work with someone who's in a leadership position, or it could be someone that you are close to, uh, that you're giving them advice and they didn't take it. And uh, you know, it's almost like things are coming to light now, okay? So, but I feel like you are rising up within the ranks, Virgo, and I feel like you're on point to either step into that leadership role, or you're thinking about um, manifesting new opportunities, maybe sending out your resume to get a, a role that is, uh, up the next rung of the ladder, as it were. Now we have the star card. This is success. This is the unified position. So there was a lot of exciting abundance coming towards you here. There's a new version of yourself, okay? Uh, you know that you are destined to rise within your um, sector, whatever it is that you do. 
and I feel very much like the stars are aligning for that moment. Now, you're not doing it for ego. You're doing it because you enjoy your work and it is hard work. I feel like you're putting the investment in. I also feel like there's a hope here, a renewal of hope. And if you'd lost your mojo or you felt like you were ignored within a position or ignored in some way, um, I feel like nobody's gonna be able to ignore you uh, April into May. I feel like uh, you're rising up and I feel like success is yours. Also, I feel like you're getting your mojo back, Virgo, after a time of feeling a little bit maybe disheartened or um, just feeling like um, there was no sparkle in life. There was just, you know, it, it's, it just felt like an existence. Uh, maybe you felt like you were, you know, going, waking up, going to work, going to sleep, and there was nothing going on there. It's just a cycle and it's just losing its charm, okay? Now, I know a lot of people, you know, because we're all uh, in various stages of lockdown or, um, you know, restrictive travel because of the pandemic, but I feel like things are starting to shift here for you, and I feel like you're starting to um, get your energy back to get out there and be raring to go, like inspiration is hitting you. So either you've been thinking about a project or um, something new, you're inspired and you want to take action on it, you're actually being encouraged by the universe to do that because I feel like you have the experience and you have the, the passion, the drive um, to start this new beginning, whatever that is. The, the way is being illuminated. You have a lot of wisdom, you have a lot of smarts in that area, and I feel like you're embracing new ideas that help you grow, and I feel like um, it's gonna be an exciting new phase of life for you, okay? Let's go and get the details to see what else they would like to tell you. Well, they, those cards definitely wanted to come out. We have the two of water. Okay, uh, we have the two of air. Pay close attention to your synchronicities here. Uh, to start shuffling the cards and have two twos come out there, Virgo, that is very important energy. It means there's change when you start to see synchronicities like this. Uh, destiny means synchronicities and you start to see double numbers or you know uh, things that are um, making you try and sit up and, and pay attention. Now the two of water is about balanced, harmonious relationships when it comes to uh, work because this is a work reading. Uh, now also, uh, Virgo, I'm gonna read the secondary energy which is you know working with somebody that you love or have romantic feelings for. Uh, we will... Um, clarify that energy in a moment um, just to let you know but I feel very much like there's a bit of a conundrum here Virgo either you're thinking about partnering up with someone that you love and doing some sort of entrepreneurial business and you're conflicted you're confused as to whether you should this is about making a decision perhaps you're making uh, you know considering options there you may be at a stalemate as well uncertain because maybe something has happened here where you were thinking about partnering up with somebody or maybe partnering up with a company that you really uh, sort of think you could thrive in and love doing but they've shown you a side of them, either a selfish side or there's some sort of selfishness or some sort of ego here that you're like, hmm, it's made you stop and think, you're not so sure, okay? Um, but it could also be that if you've got feelings for somebody at work, I feel like there's, um, I feel like it's reciprocated energy, uh, but I feel like you're you're wondering whether this is a good or a bad idea to partner up with someone uh, within a workspace. You know, I feel like um, even though the romance and the love would be there, uh, you may be thinking, mm, is this a good idea? I'm not so sure. So it feels like you and this person are maybe not um, expressing yourselves fully because um, it's different circumstances. You're at work, okay? And you don't want to rock the boat there. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide? Thank you so much. Uh, we also have, oh my gosh, the Ace of Water. What is going on, Virgo? You, you, uh, you know, mixing business with pleasure here. Look at that. We got an Ace of Water. Now, I'm going to read it, as I said, first in terms of career, because this is a career reading. If you're looking for a new opportunity, even though, you know, um, there's an energy here of, you know, you quite enjoy what you do. Um, I, I just feel like you, you feel a little bit stuck. It's like, you know, you enjoy what you do. It's kind of like, you know, some of the people are nice people. You know, you could plod along happily and do it. There's balanced, harmonious relationships. You know, you got a good proposal. You got a good thing going on there. But perhaps there's no opportunity to rise, okay? No opportunity to sort of, um, there's a glass ceiling and I feel like you've hit it. So I feel like because you're at this stalemate energy, you're thinking about maybe calling in something new. Well, there's something new coming here. 
The Ace of Water suggests that there is a new opportunity that uh, will lead to uh, you doing something that you truly love uh, and maybe even partnering up. Um, the seahorses, they represent soul tribe members or, you know, counterparts, people who are put in your path for a reason. Um, now, I feel like there's an opportunity coming here to do what you love. It may be a bit of a surprise from the universe because aces bring new. Uh, but if you've been putting your uh, resume out there, I feel like there is an opportunity that you have to choose from. Whether you stay where you are, it seems cozy where you are, um, but uh, there's this coming out of your comfort zone to do something better that actually um, suits your knowledge because you have a lot of wisdom here, that big old pearl of wisdom right there. I feel like um, this would lead to, um, I have to say it, they, they just keep giving me the energy. If you're single, Virgo, and you're looking for love, I feel like love finds you at work, okay? Uh, or on your career path, whatever it is that you want to do. Now, they're giving me a name. I mean, I feel like it's a name, but it could be a nickname, Zowie, uh, Z-O-W-I-E, Zowie. Um, I mean, that could be an exclamation of something like, you know, rather than saying, wow, it could be Zowie or something. I'm, but I feel like it's a name. Okay, they're just saying it a name. So if that's you, uh, it certainly is not going to resonate for everybody. I know that. Um, but if that's you, then there's something in this message for you. If it's not you, it does not mean it's not your reading. It just means they want that person to pay close attention to the reading as there's something in this message for them. Okay, five. Oh my gosh, yeah. Five of water indicates you have to walk away from something. You have to abandon something uh, and in order to get something better, okay? The five of water is letting it go. As you can see, there's another seahorse right there, okay? Um, and that indicates that where you are, it seems like it's cozy. It seems like it's okay. Uh, but, you know, you feel a little bit sort of abandoned when it comes to being able to rise up within the ranks. Or, you know, maybe you feel like... Um, it's just not the same as it used to be. You know, there's, it's lost its sparkle, okay? It's lost its shine, whatever it is that you're doing. So you may be thinking about um, employing a new sort of path way or uh, you know you're inspired to do something new in work uh, this could be that you're deciding to be an entrepreneur because we got the emperor again okay so it indicates in order to get something new get something better you have to let go of something or let you know walk away from something um that you feel like has already kind of like abandoned you anyway um i mean it's almost like the institution itself has abandoned you or uh because i feel like there's some people within wherever you work or whatever it is that you do. I feel like you have a lot of time for those people. There is love there, but I feel like it's just, it just feels like you're stuck, you know, and you're weighing up options. You're having to compromise and make a decision. And we have that emperor card, which indicates you may be getting some sort of knowledge from somebody seeking um, knowledge from a higher governing body. Like, um, you know, if you're trying to be an entrepreneur, you may be reaching out to banks or institutions, colleges for advice, um, government bodies, you know, just in order to find out what's what. Um, you may even be thinking about partnering up with somebody um, in business. We've got a little bit of energy joining uh, with the candle there. Uh, somebody that you love or in a, a romantic partnership with. Maybe it's just someone you trust within a member of your soul tribe. Um, there's an energy here of planning for the future, um, but being a leader, so being your own boss, okay? Now, they're just... Um, giving me this energy that um, you've got a lot of authority about you, Virgo. Uh, people do gravitate towards you for advice as well. Um, you have a wonderful, calm nature, especially when it comes to chaotic situations. So you may be having a lot of people come towards you for advice, and you're like um, the beacon of all knowledge uh, within April into May. Uh, I feel like there's um, a wonderful ownership of it here. I feel like... Um, there's a lot of good advice that you can offer people and uh, people feel very confident in what you give them. But I also feel like you're going to be coming into being with somebody who gives you some very good advice when it comes to your next pathway in terms of your career. OK, um, now uh, I'm going to go do a Celtic cross here for you. Um, as we move forward just to see what's coming your way but it looks like there's a lot of love here okay now again either you're partnering up with someone that you trust a member of your soul tribe it could be a family member uh, a friend uh, and you're thinking about setting up a business on the side or being an entrepreneur setting something up or you're thinking about um, you know moving into a new space um, in terms of work, new, you know, new project, new job, raise, promotion, that sort of thing. And you meet someone new that you love, that you fall in love with. There's a lot of love in your chart and I cannot ignore that. Okay, Virgo. So let's get straight to it. I'm using the Muse Tarot to give you, um, you know, a little bit more detail about career, what's happening there. What's the heart of the matter for my beautiful Virgo? What do they need to know? The heart of the matter. Thank you so much. We have the six of materials. 
beautiful energy this is um you know a very generous kind of energy as i said maybe someone was very selfish before i feel very much like there's a balancing out here when you get the six of pentacles um which is the six of materials there there's an unexpected uh, offer from the universe a surprise that's coming on in here and i feel like it's really lucrative for you financially it's quite a pretty package okay it allows you to blossom but i feel like it also frees yourself up um to make a few changes within your life financially um and i feel like um, you're going to be also yourself in a very generous kind of mood and I feel like um, you're going to give a lot of knowledge to people there's going to be a lot of people asking your advice thank you so much what is the challenge here the challenge is the queen of voices okay now the queen of voices is uh, the queen of swords of course um, self-sufficient energy so if you're thinking about partnering up with somebody Virgo you may be really looking at their characteristics and thinking do I really want to partner up with that person because I'm very self-sufficient by myself okay this is Libra energy so maybe you've got a, a Libra placement there but I feel like you lead with total honesty and you lead with integrity but also you've got clarity of purpose you can see the pathway ahead you've got healthy boundaries strong self-esteem and you've always got a plan okay you align yourselves with the the understanding on in all areas of business before you sort of uh, take a leap okay you've got strategy and perhaps a person that you are thinking about partnering up with does not have the same strategy as you this person may be rigid in their logic and I feel very much like if you're a partner if you're thinking about partnering up with somebody that um how can I put that um somebody that you kind of trust okay there's moments or parts of their personality and we've all got it Virgo I'm not I'm not shaming nobody here um there's parts of this person's personality that when things go a little bit wrong they get a little bit uh, unkind verbally or they go very cold maybe silent and you can't deal with that sort of person when it comes to business because you'd rather hash it out in that moment so you may be wondering whether this is the right move um I feel like it's definitely a strategy here now I also feel like there's something that's not being said here um also, um, the, the Queen of Voices, they're indicating here there's just a little bit of um, anxiety, okay? Just a little bit of anxiety. Um, and I feel like there's a conversation that needs to be had. Let's clarify that energy a little bit further. I'm just going to quickly clarify that for you. Thank you so much, for it, guys, great angels. Now, it could be, Virgo, that, you know, uh, the challenge here is that you're so honest and sharpshooting um, that when you come up against people who are dishonest or... Um, rigid in their logic you don't mind being a whistleblower okay um can you please clarify okay so um it could be that you've uncovered some sort of dishonesty or you've uncovered something here that is unfair um because it seems to be a challenge and we've got the seven of cups in the reverse which is about clarity seeing things clearly no more illusions restored sense of what is happening here and what is what the moon card also is about illusion and you know um sort of some sort of secret or something coming to the surface something unseen um some sort of unseen problem that has come to the surface now this may be that um you know those changes within your workspace that were brewing for a while and now everything's coming to the surface and you're really seeing who's got your back and who hasn't and uh, maybe there's somebody here in a position of power that's um you know a, a little bit unkind here but i feel very much like you are being very logical very honest strong-willed and you're very good at uh, words okay i feel like you're negotiating better deals for yourself and you're seeing through anyone's bs okay so if you've got anybody at your workspace that's being a little bit sort of um unkind or um underhanded in some way um cold logical person i feel like this is not just towards you virgo i feel like this person doesn't get on with many people um but yeah i feel very much like you are it's almost like you are more adept at leading you would be a better leader than this person um, and what is below you we have the four of inspiration okay now the four of inspiration is about creative alliances and uh, sort of creative partnerships if you're thinking about collaborating with somebody um, this is about you um, seeking the right group of people who suit your your um, your uh, talents your drive and your ambition to create something really wonderful this is an achievement card okay so I feel like uh, what is carrying you through your underlying feelings is 
Um, with your soul tribe, you can accomplish anything, okay? This is like, the, the job is almost halfway done. Um, also, again, the four of uh, inspiration is a four of wands. So this may be someone that you're in a high level commitment with or you have a connection with um, that you're thinking about partnering up with um, in order to uh, get something really awesome off the ground. But you, there's like a stalemate energy. So either this person has gone silent all of a sudden or, um, you know, there's a stalemate here. They sort of promised the world and then said, yeah, yeah, let's do that. Let's, you know, let's set up a business together or something. And you're like, hmm. Where, where are you at? Okay, because the silence is like radio silence here. But I feel like you've got um, you've got what it takes to be very, very successful. I feel like you're halfway there, Virgo, with that card. It is a celebratory card. Um, thank you so much for it, guys, great angels. Now, you could be setting up a business on the side, doing, a, you know, um, a job that pays the bills, brings enough money in to pay the bills, but you're getting like a secondary kind of... Um, business or something that's more entrepreneurial something that you're more in control of off the ground there what is behind you the moon card something's been uncovered here virgo now either you cannot trust this person or there's something here about mystery um you know there's something that's been unveiled here that uh is not what it seems okay this is the illusion um now it could be a, a case of um you're metamorphosizing and you're, you're changing and you're aware um, that there's lessons that lie within here and that um, it's almost like feel the fear and do it anyway because the illusion often brings fear okay so there, there's an energy here of you have a lot of wisdom and you know what you're capable of and I feel like you're powering up especially towards the end of the month there um, because we've just gone through a full uh, a super moon, okay, um, the, the super worm moon, and I feel like that was integral to your energy to push you forward. I feel like there's a lot of success coming here, but I feel like you're trying to see that pathway really clearly. Now, what is above my beautiful Virgo? What do they need to know? What is above? Which one? Thank you so much. Um, we have the, the five of voices, okay? Now, the five of voices, just to let you know, I'm reading uh, the uprights in this deck. Um, the five of voices here is an energy of um, a little bit of mental conflict, um, overthinking things. Um, it's almost like which direction do you go in? You're trying to remain calm within the situation and either there's some sort of uh, drama or something that's going on wherever you are. It's kept you at a stalemate. Um, there's an olive branch, can you see? Um, so there, there's, there's an opportunity to heal whatever this is um, and have peace after some sort of um, sort of nerve wracking kind of energies, anxious energy. Um, whoever this person was, very verbally unkind, a bit of a bully. Uh, this, uh, I feel like there is a sort of um, a peace offering. Um, this is your goal, okay? Um, this is the uh, what is above you position. This is possibilities, okay, that co are coming on in for the month. Now, also, they want this one in this position as well. We have the page of emotions. Oh my gosh, what is going on here, Virgo? The page of emotions, when uh, you apply it to career, is about um, the opportunity to do what you love, follow your bliss, and money will flow from there. So I feel like there's definitely some sort of news coming on in here for you to be able to do something that you truly love, a job that you really love doing. Now, this could be something very, very new. Um, and by that, I mean, you know, it's something that um, maybe you thought about doing for a long time, uh, but you took a safer route in order to make money. But now there's an opportunity opening up uh, for um, you to uh, be very, very successful following your heart. Uh, it's a, You're relying on gut instinct. Now, uh, this is not going to resonate for everyone, but they're indicating that there is some sort of oil or a cream in somebody's eyes. Uh, so either you just put some cream on or some sun cream or something like that. They're indicating um, it's gone into your eyes and it's making them itch. Okay. Uh, the, the, the eye that seems to be affected the most is the right one. Uh, but uh, they're indicating that. So if that's you, then there's something in this message for you. It feels very much like there's something in the right eye and it's uh, causing some sort of irritant, okay? Uh, now, I don't have anything on my face, so uh, it's, it's not my energy. It's definitely, um, so perhaps it's, you know, you're clearing out your eye or something. Uh, please take it as it resonates. It's not going to resonate for everyone. Um, but also, I feel like 
there's conflict here. So either you have feelings for somebody at work, Virgo, or, um, you know, and you don't want to cross a line because it is work. I feel like this person also feels the same way as you, okay? Just to let you know, I feel like they're coming to offer you, um, if you've had a, a falling out with this person, it's because the tensions are high. This person has feelings for you also. Um, I just also want to say here with this page of emotions, um, that's obviously the page of cups here. I feel like um, you may be doing some sort of a volunteer work in the future that uh, actually is connected to whatever it is that you do. It, it allows you to move forward in terms of your career path. It puts you in the path of um, someone who can give you really awesome advice if you're trying to be an entrepreneur in a different area. Um, I feel like you're branching out. That's what, because they're really highlighting these tentacles and it's almost like your gut instinct is to branch out, put the feelers out to uh, see if there's anything else that you could, uh, that would be more suitable for you. Uh, thank you so much for it guys. Whoa. Okay, I gotta go get that card one moment, please. So what is uh oh we got two cards here. Let me just go get it. Just gonna go get these one moment, please. Okay, so we have this is the near future. They've asked me to go one more, so I'm going to do that. I don't want to uh, look at these cards uh, until such time as I get the other cards. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, for angels. Okay, there we, there they are. Um in, interesting okay wow this is quite a lot for this position um i will discuss them briefly um but they are indicating here a, a cautionary kind of energy the death card indicates there is an ending which brings a new beginning okay uh it definitely means you're walking away from something and um i feel like you're making room for something greater uh but again there's something here can you see the moth over the mouth it always reminds me of some, you know, being being silenced, right? I just feel like either somebody's gone silent, you know, maybe they promised you a promotion or something like that. Things have just gone a little bit cold, okay? I just feel like something's gone cold here. And um, the death card sort of um, signals you've come as far as you can within a situation and you're having to walk away from something in order to embrace something new. I feel like it's for your greater good. There will be something uh, more refreshing coming towards you. It is definitely a transitionary energy, but we've got the devil here. Okay, now the, the devil signals some sort of obsessive energy. I have to pull a card on it. Uh, in your, this is your near future position. So um, either you're obsessed with the outcome here or there is some sort of, um, you're working within a toxic environment and you absolutely must walk away from it for your health because there's just, you know, the devil and the death card showing up together indicates um, there's a toxic environment um, that is making you feel uh, maybe out of control or, uh, you know, feeling obsessed that you have to hit a target or something like that and you're overworking yourself. Maybe there's even like, uh, in order to make enough money, because I feel like materialism could be uh, the case. It feels like it's almost like you're attached to something. Maybe you're on, you're on a a treadmill of sort of life having to pay the bills like we all are we gotta you know make enough money to pay the bills and then some and keep going and going and going and you just don't see that there is any time for rest okay um, I will pull some cards on that just to clarify this energy we also have that nine of inspiration which is a cautionary energy wounded warrior so either someone has really done a number and hurt you at work or you were seeing somebody at work and it's gone a little bit cold or something like that um, I feel very much like uh, you're still persisting. You got high boundaries, but you're still maintaining uh, an energy of move forward, keep your head held high. It's all going to be fine. Um, th these are like smaller details here. Uh, we got the five of emotions again. So that's the second time we had the five of water right there. So you're walking away. You're feeling abandoned within a situation and unloved in some way. And you recognize that you've got to walk away. And, you know, maybe you feel like there's regret here or there's uh, loss here. Uh, but I feel like um, it comes quite as a shock. And I feel like it's, it's very interesting. Um, it... I just got this kind of energy of um, it's not the way it used to be. Things are just not the way they used to be, okay? Things have changed and they're not... It's like it's lost its sparkle, whatever this is. The tower signifies uh, crumbling, okay? But also, it is a paradigm shift. It doesn't mean your whole life is crumbling down, but what it does mean is there is a sudden upheaval that takes something away in order for something better to take its place, okay? And we also have um, this six of emotions here 
Now, you know what? If I was doing a love reading right now, Virgo, I'd say that there is some sort of separation happening here, um, a walking away because there's been some sort of selfish behavior, uh, maybe even uh, ego problems here. And I feel like um, you're walking away here um, and trying to sort of establish something new. Um, but the six of emotions indicates like a... a sort of a rose tinted glasses looking back like the good old days okay it doesn't have to be about love in because this is a career reading so um it's almost like you're looking back at times when you felt freer when you felt like you know you didn't have to think about paying the mortgage or the bills and you know trying to get a job and all of those things it's like remember the good old days when it seemed to be a bit easier because it feels like it's it's a little bit of a rocky time Virgo I have to give it to you um, and uh, I feel like you're prepared for it okay um, because whenever we shift into a new uh, more exciting time that is more successful um, it is often a very rocky path at first and I feel like um, it's the path that you're deciding to take thank you so much spirit guys uh, what is the advice my beautiful Virgo is giving themselves in this moment the world it's ended you're walking away. You've come as far as you can within this situation. You, you've completed a cycle. Now, whether this place or this environment is getting very toxic and you're like, you need to get out, um, there's definitely um, an ending that's bringing a new beginning. You have a deeper understanding of your role in this situation. And I feel like your efforts have come full circle. There's nothing more you can do. Uh, you may be thinking about moving abroad or even just moving out of town. You may be physically thinking about traveling and moving uh, away from a space in order to completely affect new within your world. Uh, but I feel like um, the world is your oyster. So I feel like you're opening yourself up to more opportunity and you're gaining that new perspective. Now, what is the environment? Thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. What is the message so far for my beautiful Virgo? What do they need to know about the environment and the external circumstances? How would you like to receive? Thank you so much. The page of inspiration so definitely news coming on in here of some sort of new project um i feel this will um come towards you in april so i feel like there's definitely new happening here uh, it's a creative spark so inspiration um it's either to be an entrepreneur and set up your own business and walk away from something that you've invested in for a long time but you feel like it's time for a shift and a change uh it feels like luck is on your side can you see that lucky black cat right there uh, a lot of people they go no black cats are unlucky i disagree okay um there's definitely um inspiration um as you see some sort of brainstorming there um, i feel like this is a very very fertile time for you in terms of opportunities there's a lot of abundance coming your way and this new uh, project or new job that comes uh, it's something that you really wanted to achieve and something that you wanted to achieve for a while you may have been curious about it for a while and been really investigating it Virgo, you got two pages, which indicates, you know, there's a lot of news uh, headed towards you um, for you to be able to do whatever it is that you love with passion and drive and ambition. You may even feel like you're starting at the beginning of this thing, but it's quite exciting. You don't feel like you're going backwards. You still feel like you're going forwards. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. What's the hope and fear for my beautiful Virgo? What do they need to know regarding this? Ten of Inspiration. Okay, the fear is there's a lot of stress and a lot of burdens. Okay, you, you're very exhausted. You know, you're, you're spinning a lot of plates here. And um, as you can see, um, you're, there is cause for celebration though, because you know, as you can see that jar there, there's a lot of creative sparks. It's almost when, um, it's almost like you really enjoy, uh, now don't show the messenger when I say this, cause I'm just channeling. It's almost like you thrive when you're under pressure. It doesn't feel good at all but out of that chaos out of that pressure comes absolute inspiration and you it's almost like you shift everything around and really change it there's definitely uh, an energy here of finally saying no and sort of freeing yourself up by uh, either taking a break or um you know because things got so um stressful but i feel like there's a release here they've asked me to go again in this position thank you so much we have the eight of inspiration okay you're waiting perhaps you're waiting on something because the eight of inspiration is news coming on in here action change and it's going to be quite quick okay so maybe you're hopeful about that um there's definitely um a fear here that uh, you don't want to be delayed of course you don't it's frustrating when things are delayed they just want you to have faith because you will be moving forward there is action there is change you will be striding forward towards success because the eight of wands is a successful energy card and we also have the star 
So look, we got the star again in your overall energy here. So there will be success. There will be enlightenment. There's a new version of yourself. And I feel like you're hopeful um, that you're going to be in the spotlight um, for whatever it is that you're trying to achieve. Um, have faith. Miracles are working behind the scenes and I feel like whatever you're wishing for or you're working really hard towards, um, the inspiration that you need to carry you to this opportunity and to meet it halfway is uh, here for you. Um, also, I just get this fear here that it's like being ignored or passed up for some sort of opportunity. Okay, because you work really hard. You've got all the smarts, you've got the passion, you've got the drive, the ambition. And there's something here about not being noticed. Now, Virgo, you don't do something just to be noticed. You do it because you love it. Okay, uh, but there's something here that was underhanded or, you know, you feel like you're passed up. There was some sort of like illogical thing that happened here in this reading um, where I feel like it was unkind and either you got passed over or um, something wasn't right, okay? Uh, I feel like that's all about to come good for you. Uh, good karma is on its way for you. Now, let's find out uh, the solution position. Can we have uh, the outcome for my beautiful Virgo? What do they need to see for their highest good? What are they meant to... The Seven of Inspiration. I'm loving it. Seven of Inspiration is a beautiful card. Why? It indicates you are at your personal best, Virgo. There is nobody like you. Even in the darkness, that's the energy that I'm getting. Even in the stress, even in the darkness, even in the chaos, the storm, you still find a way to shine. You still find a way to um, sort of rise up and uh, be successful. So this indicates with the Seven of Inspiration, which is the Seven of Wands, um, that you are above the competition. Okay, so if you feel like you've had to protect yourself uh, because you felt like um, you know there was a lot of uh, competition out there can you see that big old star right in the center as well you are going to shine in whatever this is okay so if there is a raise or a promotion that people uh, are sort of going towards or fighting for it indicates you are the best of the best in this situation uh, you're the one who's being noticed you're the one who's shining the brightest okay thank you so much spirit guys great angels queen of emotions uh, they've asked me to go one more, okay? Now, the queen of emotions is the queen of love, okay, Virgo? It's a Cancerian energy. Um, there's an energy here of you being very supportive of others. Um, and again, it's that kind of... I always think that the queen is the power behind the throne. Male or female, not a gender-specific reading. It's about the energy. But I feel like the queen of water is about um, self-care, security in your position, being generous to others as well. I feel like... Um, you know, a lot of people gravitate towards you for love and, and light. And no matter what, I feel like you still extend it. You're always the bigger person. So um, either there's a situation here um, where you're partnering up with somebody um, that you really love or that you really have a lot of respect for or who loves you. Oh, sorry. Uh, what was that? They said, oh, sorry. Uh, sorry, I'm just... One moment, please. I'm just going to... Um, connect with that energy because all of a sudden because I'm channeling what they're saying to me um, and then I just got another voice that came through and went oh sorry so I actually said what they said one moment please okay uh, so they're indicating here that someone who's listening to this reading uh, they were walking and they just tripped over their it seemed like they tripped over their own feet but it, it, it wasn't really that um, it was a guide well no they're indicating it was a member of a family who's in spirit um, who is quite a, a trickster kind of energy, uh, tripped you up. And um, they did it on purpose, not to hurt you, uh, but just to make you aware of their presence. And they were saying, oh, sorry. So uh, please take that as it resonates. I'm not sure where that's coming from or what that is. Uh, so if that resonates for you, please put it in the comments box below. I would love to hear that it was from you, okay? Because um, th that was just such a really curveball kind of energy that came through. Anyway, we have the Eight of Voices. Virgo, I, I just, I, there's something here about mixing business with pleasure, you know. The Eight of Voices is um, the Eight of Swords, and that is anxiety, okay. Mental, uh, sort of a mental prison there, okay. Um, it is about a release of denial and seeing things as they truly are. If you're in love with someone at your workspace and they're in love with you, I mean, there's no stopping you here. Look, we got an Ace of Emotions. We got a Queen of Emotions. 
and uh, we've got a seven of inspiration here. So um, th they're indicating there's a new opportunity to come in and do what you love, Virgo. Absolutely. Don't feel that fear and do it anyway. Don't hold yourself back. Don't get in your own way, okay? Because um, there is something here that um, allows you to thrive and there will be finances that come along with it. I will clarify the energy because you start off in the six of materials and then we have no other finances, uh, no other material cards coming through there. Uh, but it's, it's not about the money because the money will flow from you doing something that you love doing. But if you're single, it seems like there's going to be love wherever you invest your energy and time to achieve something. So either you're at a, a workspace right now and you're moving to a new department and there is, um, you know, a raise promotion or something there that you're moving into uh, that puts you in connection with new people. There's love there. Um, all, though it could be that you, wherever you are right now, I feel like there's someone who has feelings for you. And it's been a little bit conflicting because maybe you don't want to S-H-I-T where you eat sort of energy. I'm just going to clarify that energy right there. Um, first of all, I'm going to clarify some uh, financial energy. Can you please uh, guide my beautiful Virgo? What do they need to know about finances? Thank you so much. I'm truly grateful for the messages so far. Oh, that's a no. Sorry, um, that was my bad. Uh, it just fell out there. Um, I know which ones I can take and which ones I cannot. Uh, so they definitely I cannot. Um, now they're indicating a sign from the universe. They're indicating a sign that someone has uh, recently had, which is, um, it's a button. You found a button somewhere. Okay, so if that's you, uh, you found a button somewhere that's really kind of like, it was in a very strange place and you're like, oh, this is unusual. Where did that come from? And you can't really find a source of where it came from. That's actually a sign from your guides that uh, there are positive changes coming your way and that actually there is a very financially lucrative opportunity coming your way as well to help you rise through the ranks. How would you like to receive? Thank you so much. Well, yeah. Well, uh, yeah. It is basically, look, we're getting the same cards here. You got three aces, okay? We got uh, the wounded warrior in the reverse, which basically says, have faith. Everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be fine, okay? So if you're worrying, um, don't be defensive in this situation. Uh, everything's going to work out just the way that you'd hoped. We got an ace of wands, new passion coming on in here, uh, a new job that ignites your uh, sort of um, your passion, your drive, your ambition. Uh, it's something like a new project that causes you um, a lot of inspiration and you just want to get out of bed in the morning and do it. So I feel like it's an exciting opportunity. But there's something here about eight of swords where you're a little bit nervous. So either it means that you have to walk away from something in order to, to gain something better and you either leave behind someone that you love, um, you know, you're, you're not working with that person anymore. You could still have that relationship outside work, of course. Uh, but there's something here about love as well, being connected to um, love and passion, being connected to work. So, um, you know, this is not a love reading. I did not want that to cross over, but they're indicating it. So I have to um, I have to give it there. But definitely a new project coming on in. Um, have faith. It is actually um, guided to your path for a reason. It's going to be very, very successful. Um, they asked me to go one more. Wow, I don't really want you to be here all day, my beautiful Virgo. I wanted this to be a short one. Um, anything more for my beautiful Virgos? What do they need to know? Very chaotic energy. I feel, I feel like April is like a, a sort of um, a transitionary month where you're making up some, uh, you're making some decisions, some serious decisions that affect your future. The star card again. Uh, now they're indicating here, this is the second time they've done that Virgo and I have to give you what they're giving me here. Something about someone returning to you. Okay, fully learning from the past, someone coming towards you. So either you, uh, you're you conflicted because you work with somebody, uh, you're in a business with somebody that you love or maybe with a partner already and there's someone from your past returning and you're like, I mean, there's a very, very conflicted kind of energy happening here. Um, they, they may not just, they may not want anything more than to heal a rift with you. Uh, but I feel very much like um, there will be a return to the good old days in terms of your career. Okay. Um, I feel like um, it's only a matter of time. So please have faith. If you're feeling like you're losing hope in a situation, please don't because things are going to be better. Um, there will definitely be a return to the way it was. Okay. A more hopeful time. Um, so, uh, and there's a couple of opportunities. I actually see three opportunities coming towards you, Virgo. Um, but I feel like 
Two of them are really something that you absolutely love doing, okay? I will leave it there. I'm just going to give you some advice from Spirit before we close the reading. Thank you so much, Spirit. God. Whoa. And one more. Wow. I mean, the, the energy today is just so chaotic. I'm not sure what that's all about, okay? Um, like normally, it, the energy is not this chaotic in readings. So we have faith. So definitely, maybe that's the energy I'm picking up from you, Virgo, that you're feeling like a little, some things are, you know, it's like a domino effect. Things are not um, going exactly with the way that you'd hoped, but uh, you're having a bit of a crisis of faith right now. Um, but actually, things are going to work out in your favor, so don't, don't worry, don't panic. We've also got power, okay? And as you can see, there's two in, very independent spirits coming together and being presided over by spirit, okay? So it looks like you will be thinking about partnership in some way in terms of business we have patience we have shadow self now this is the energy that i'm feeling shadow self so perhaps you're going through a bit of a, a difficult time virgo if that is you i'm sending you out a lot of love there um you're not alone spirit is with you okay and whoever got tripped over uh they're, they're indicating that you're you're um someone from your ancestry um is with you okay at all times uh, and they were just being a little bit playful to just let you know that you're not alone okay they're with you walking through this we also have adventure we have transition and we have trust okay so definitely a transitionary kind of month there uh, but do trust that everything is going to work out in your favor okay now i'm just going to give you some final advice before we close Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. What do my beautiful Virgo need to know before we close the reading? What are they meant to see for April 2021, right through to May 2021? Can you please guide them for their highest good? Thank you so much. I'm truly grateful for the messages so far. Community. Okay? Community. So something here about um, partnering up with the right people or relying on people. Um, eight is a number of self as well. Uh, so self-love and uh, I feel like people coming together for to help with advice, pulling together to help each other. Let's see what the message says here for you. I don't want to tell you anything wrong there. It's quite a, an interesting reading, this one. There's a lot of complex dynamics. Um, so I, I guess it's not going to resonate for everybody, uh, but I have to read the energy as I'm getting it. So it says here, whenever you're in a community of like-minded others, there is a powerful opportunity to reap great abundance. It is essential to ask, what can I contribute rather than what can I get from this? Figure out the need and look to fill it. Something meaningful will manifest for you. Even if, it, even if what manifests is small, it is a sign that the doors of opportunity are swinging open wider for you. There is also another meaning of this card to consider. Don't try to be all things to all people. Choose your role and be true to it and serve from the sense of auth authenticity. There is no greater feeling of accomplishment than knowing you have a purpose. Okay, now because there is some love came up in your reading, I'm going to read you the relationship message, even though this is a career reading, I really shouldn't, but I'm just going to do it anyway. You're discovering this, the essential qualities that you share with another and perhaps also those that you don't share. These are the times when you follow. Sorry, I'll start again. There are times when you follow and the other person leads. And there are times when you lead and the other person follows. The appearance of this card points to the importance of learning the proper dance between you and another, accepting the truth that everyone has flaws and that is part of the dance. Yet you are also being asked to be aware of the dynamics that you don't want to repeat. You are in the perfect place to make changes in order to experience the best version of who you can be together as a team. I mean, that does clarify the energy that I was picking up. I probably wasn't as eloquent as the, the message uh, there, uh, but that energy was coming through. Let's get a, a trinket before we close. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide? Okay, so interesting. We have musical notes. Now, as you can see, there's two, uh, you know, I guess they're quavers, uh, two notes there, but it's really interesting that there's like a little something something in between them. I don't even know what that is. It's like a little ball, okay? Uh, so perhaps something uh, has come between you and another person that you were thinking about partnering up with. Um, it's something small that can be rectified and healed, okay? Uh, as they've indicated there, but perhaps there's like a fly in the ointment kind of energy there, and you're wondering, 
um, you know, you used to be so connected and, you know, really tight in the situation, felt like you and this person had each other's back or something, maybe even thought about having a business together or maybe do have a business together, but something small has got in the way there, coming between you both. I feel like it can be worked out. They want on the star card for healing, okay? Also, we've got the, the, the horse. Uh, now, the horse is about dependable energy. It's about going the distance, being very successful, but action and change is required, okay? So this connects to the chariot card, moving forward, perhaps uh, physically moving um, or about going uh, towards a destination and being very successful. I feel like you're nearly there, Virgo. I feel like you're rising up, but April is very sort of a changeable month um, in terms of transition, okay? Changing gears, shifting gears, and they want this on the Ace of Wands. Now, where did that go? Ace of Wands. Oh, that's here. Ace of Wands. Here it is. Ace of Wands. Okay, so yeah, action change, new project coming on in. Um, but there's a lot of factors in play here, a lot of dynamics. Perhaps it means you have to travel and uh, you're away from a partner uh, for long periods of time or something like that. A lot of um, factors to really think about within this dynamic. I will leave it there, my beautiful Virgo. I hope something resonated in this reading for you. It was quite precise, so it may not resonate for everybody. I do apologize. Um, but also, if it did resonate for you, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell. That lets you know when I uh, update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important for me. Also, if you'd like to win a personal reading, all you have to do is press, um, sorry, uh, manifest for 10 minutes, do a visualization uh, of something that you really want to achieve. Only pick one thing. Drop it in the comments box below if you wish to share it with the group. If you do not wish to, just put the word love in the comments box below and I will um, choose one lucky subscriber on the 12th of April. Um, thank you so much, my beautiful Virgo. Love and light.